Hi, this is Matt from Weekends RV Rental in Sonoma, California. Uh, we are here in our 25-foot Jayco Greyhawk RV. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the entertainment center, which I'm very proud of because I installed it myself. Uh, you will never see an entertainment system quite like this because no one's ever installed an entertainment system quite like this. Okay, so the components are we have a CD slash Blu-ray DVD player. We have a brand new flat screen Vizio TV. We have creative sound bar and what you can't see tucked in the bottom is a subwoofer as well. Okay, the sound is amazing out of this thing. What you'll also like is this TV moves around. See that? You can watch TV from the bedroom. You can watch TV from over there in the bathroom. You can watch TV from the dinette right here, right? Comes all the way out. Very handy. Okay, so it really isn't that much different than the entertainment system at your house. Okay, you got your remotes, got your TV remote, got your soundbar remote, and you got your DVD player remote. I even labeled them for you to make it easy. So if you want to play a DVD, very easy. Just take your DVD player remote, push the open close button. DVD will open, place the DVD in the slot up here, push the open close again, and as it's loading, the TV will automatically go on, okay? Now, while that's loading, I want to talk to you about the sound bar. Now, the sound bar needs to be turned on as well. This is the remote for the sound bar, so you just hit the power button. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but when you hit the power button on this, you want to set it so that it is saying HD. Woo! Really good sound. I'm going to mute that for now. Uh, let's hit the mute button here. Okay, so this is important. The soundbar has to say HD for the TV to play. Okay? And then you can either control the sound using the soundbar remote, or you can control the sound using the TV remote. And then as far as the DVD player, it's the usual buttons you push on a DVD player. Okay? So anyway, that's how you run a DVD. Okay, next. Now, let's say you just want to watch TV. Now, this is one of the newer TVs that has all of the channels already built into it. You can see from here, you have Netflix, Prime Video, Disney, Hulu, Redbox and Voodoo. Now we already have the Netflix, Prime Video, Disney and Hulu accounts already set up in this. Or if you want to use your own account, bring your password and your login information and you can do it here. So again, super easy. Just hit play. I'm sorry, hit the power button. Wait a second, it will power up. Okay, and then whatever it is you want to watch, say it's Netflix, just push the Netflix button and it will automatically go to Netflix, okay? Or Prime Video, whatever it is you want to watch, okay? Um, now, this is important. A lot of RV parks have okay Wi-Fi. A lot of them have poor Wi-Fi. Um, very few of them have great Wi-Fi. So I can't guarantee you that you'll be able to watch uh, Wi-Fi TV on this. If you're wondering where the remotes are, we have them hidden over here in this handy dandy remote holder okay so when you're done just please return them here and you're good to go thanks when you're done with the tv be sure to pin it back into place okay so all you got to do is line up the hole with the pen push it in place and set it in if you don't the tv will move around while you're driving okay if you just want to listen to music the sound bar is perfect for this and there's only a few things you need to know so up here is an indicator uh, of what setting it's on. If you see two little lines, that means it's not on. So you take the remote, turn it on. Okay? If you're watching TV, it needs to say HD. Okay? If you want to use your Bluetooth for your phone or your tablet, hit the Bluetooth button. Okay? And you'll see a little blue light come on. If it's blinking, it means it wants to connect to your Bluetooth. Okay? It's searching for Bluetooth. And the name you're going to be looking for 
it's going to say stage v2 so just hook up to that and you're good to go i'm telling you it sounds amazing now there's a third way to hook up as well if you don't want to do bluetooth let's say you have a little ipod or something and you want to plug it in instead behind this move the tv out of the way and you'll see right here is a dongle for 3.5 millimeter so just plug that in and then after that's plugged in you want to go back to your remote and make sure it says AU for auxiliary. Okay, that's it. Those are the only three settings you need to know. Then the volume is up and down right here. Um, highly, highly recommend you use a surround sound. It sounds so much better with the surround sound button. And when you push it, it will say either off surround sound or it will say SR. You want to make sure it says SR. It sounds way better. Okay. And that's it. Uh, you're going to love it with the subwoofer and everything else. You can have a party in this place. It's really good. We're very excited about it. And I'm sure you will be too. Okay, so enjoy the entertainment system. It's there for you and your enjoyment and the whole family. Okay, thank you.